All right. Granddaddy of them all. <laughs> but we do have eight and five Appalachian State matching up with Mac champion Miami of Ohio Red Hawks for the ready for this name avocados from Mexico Cure Bowl. It used to just be the Cure Bowl. It was so much easier. And now, yeah, now I got another. Who was sponsored by and all of that nonsense in there? I do love avocados. I don't really yeah. care if they're from Mexico, but I do love avocados. Yeah. We had guacamole yeah. last night. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And then you, uh, you know, go to Chipotle and they charge you $16 extra for some guacs. Like, nah, yeah. I'm good. I'll, yeah, I'll just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> big, big 10 backers are confirming that they have zero fil filters are for cars. So they're letting it go with the, uh, the jokes here. <laughs> and hmm. that's a game to watch. Yeah. So this one, uh, just kind of like the last one, this eleven and two versus eight and five. TJ, I mean, we've we probably know App State better than anybody else in the conference. Sure. Uh, so I don't feel like this is a big disparity either in this matchup. I, what do you? I mean, any thoughts on? I mean, how much of the uh, Toledo Miami of Ohio game did you get to check in on this past weekend? I did not watch a lot of it. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I saw across the ticker a couple different times, but I I I know what I know about Miami of Ohio, and that is they have never been a solid – it's never been a solid team um, in terms of what their conference represents, right? It, that there's not a – they don't have a very solid conference to begin with. So right. um, it, so going 11, 11 and 2 in, in the MAC, I don't – I don't want to say I don't respect it. 11 and 2 is 11 and 2. You are what your record says you are. That said – not all football is created equal, right? I mean, right. you know, going eleven and two in the Big Ten ain't this in the same thing as going eleven and two in the SEC, right? No. So you know, not all conferences and football is created equal. I do think um, App wins this one. I think you know, we're going to be able to out, you know, spread them out and outman them um, on, in a lot of ways. I do think, however, they'll be able to run the ball semi effectively against us. Um, I don't know that they'll get over hundred yards, but I do think they'll be somewhat effective uh, running the football. Um, but apart from running run, the run game, I, I, I don't see, um, I don't see them beating us. So Artie, Artie's not necessarily disagreeing with you, but he is saying Miami's a very, very good team. No one player will blow you away, but they make plays when needed and they run the ball. Well, they're Mac champions for a reason. Yeah. I knew they, they run the ball. Well. Yeah. They definitely run the ball well, and they're predicated on really, just as he said, a really solid defense. It, they kind of, I mean, to me, they didn't scare me as much as a, a Troy or a JMU defense. Sure. Uh, so I will say that. But they're not bad defensively. I mean, they're going to be right there. They're going to be pressuring you, and they're not going to allow you any easy yardage. Uh, so that's it, – it's going to be interesting with the struggles that we saw App have against Troy in this last game and, and obvious struggles that they had against James Madison when they went up against them. Again, I don't think Miami's quite on that level. I was going to say, and if we're comparing the two, the, the, I guess the three teams in this regard, I don't think it's close um, defense as far as the defensive front goes. Um, right. I could be wrong. I, I, I think Miami uh, is solid, but I certainly don't think that I, I, I would fear them. At all. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I guess I, I feel the same way going into this that I did against Troy, which obviously at this point doesn't mean much because we know right. what happened in that one. But I mean, I think you would agree with me. I didn't fear that matchup with Troy at all. I knew we could lose. I'm not saying that. Right. But as a fan, I was like, oh, man, I, you know, I just don't know if we could win. I was thinking we would we, we would win. Not yeah. easily, but I thought we would win. Sure. Uh, and so I feel the same way here. Maybe it's just because of the comfort and familiarity, putting on that A. You know, I, I didn't play for the school like you did, TJ, but, you know, you still feel like there's sure. a there's certain type of pride and everything else that goes along when, you know, you're repping the brand. Um, but you're, you're, you're living the brand, repping the brand. But um, I, I don't know. I, I still just, in a way, maybe the loss in the championship game helps them in this. Is that a possibility that you think here? Yeah, I, I mean – Yes and no, right? Like when you get this far into the season, you are who you are, right? It, yeah. It's it's not so much a loss helps you or hurts you or anything like that. I mean, everybody wants to win their conference. I think with this, 
it's more of a um, a pride thing, right? First of all, and then secondarily, yeah. you want to prove that your conference is tough, right? Like you want to prove your eight and five record is not a re- it's not a regular eight and five record, right? right? Like you, you know what I mean? Like it's not equal to your eleven and two. Like we aren't the same. Like no. you know, one of the same. What is the same? One of these things is not like the other. Like we, you know, it's one of those things where you want to prove we are different down here in the South and it's, you know, the football is played differently. So um, it's a pride thing at this point. And I, I, I do have, um, I got at winning. I mean, by at least a touchdown, I know. Cause here's the other thing. I don't really care who you are. If you're not, you know, outside of your major P five schools, you're not stopping us from scoring 35 points. That's going to happen. We're going to score 35 points. Now, whether or not you can score 35, that's up to you. Uh, Cause you know, there's some advantages that our defense does give up um, in some regard, but if we play mistake free football on defense, we can stop you from scoring 30, but you, no one, I don't think there's, I mean, outside of obviously your heavy hitters, no one's going to stop us from scoring 35 points. Yeah. I mean, I think the only teams that uh, did all season was, excuse me, James Madison and Troy, which were the two best defenses that and we faced. That we faced, yeah. And they, then those guys got NFL guys across that entire defensive line on both sides. So, Yeah, yeah. And I think Artie's point is true. I do think we have to get the run game better established, right? We yeah. did not do that in James Madison, and we, we, we won in overtime, you know, by literally mere inches. So that was a close call. In the Troy game, we didn't truly establish it. There was a time where it looked like it was going to open up, right? We had that one drive early in the second half where Kanye gets into the end zone on a – I think actually the, the touchdown run wasn't all that long, but the, the, long, the long run previous to that right. uh, was, a, was the best run of the game, I believe. So we, we do have to we, – we have to do something to better establish that run. Uh, to make you got to let clear. one guy cook. Yeah. Like stop switching these running backs out. You know, I get it that you're trying to throw different looks at people, but you got to get like it takes a quarter and a half to even get warmed up as a running yeah. back. You got to feel the defense. You got to get hit a couple times. Eventually, you're going to break it, but you can't break it if you don't learn the defense and you don't let that guy cook for for yeah. a long time. I mean, you know, Devin will tell you, K. Rich will tell you, it takes sometimes uh, up until halftime to start wearing on a defense for one guy to do, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm not saying don't switch backs. I'm saying don't do it as often as we were doing. It. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I definitely question that too. I knew, that, I knew that we'd throw three or four at Troy at least and knew three for sure. I wasn't sure if we'd see a fourth and I, I don't remember seeing Arma, Armani Marshall or Mikhail Haywood. No, I don't no, know if you did. Was, no, they didn't play. No, it was, okay. uh, it was just Kanye. Um, Castle and Noel. Castle and, and Noel. Yeah. Yeah, and Noel, you know, didn't see much of the field later in the game, so I think he's still not 100% if I had to guess because he had some success, but like you said, I don't think he was in there long enough to sustain that success. success. Kanye had had the most success because – yeah, Kanye had the most success because he was in there longest, I feel like. and Yeah. Castle was brought in on the short yardage stuff, and until late in the game, you know, that wasn't really successful – Either uh, TJ says Miami is all defense and little offense. App State is very good offense and okay defense. I'll take App State's offense over Miami's defense. I we will do the same, TJ. Yes, yes, we <laughs> the will. The other TJ, the imposter TJ. <laughs> <laughs> and Artie says you got to go with the hot hand, and I do 